Hello guys, good afternoon. Uh, for today's video, I'll be going to solve uh, word problems. This is particularly number problems. We have uh, nine types of algebraic word problems. Actually, there's like the tenth now is like the variations problem. Okay, I'll be going to solve each of these types of problems. I'll be solving uh, problems. Uh, this would be my algebraic word problems uh, video series. I am doing this one um, because actually this is uh, this is the content of my first book that was published in uh, 2010. Uh, I don't know if there uh, I don't know if this book is still available in the national bookstore anyway because it was like 2010 and I don't have any I don't I don't receive any news about if it's still out in national bookstore but actually like last year was it last year I found some of the copies in national bookstore in Sukkot anyway. So, in chat, I'll be going to solve word problems. Uh, this is a series and uh, video series. I ano ko siya. Ayun, so let's start. Okay, so uh, in solving word problems, meron tayong tinatawag na basic. Uh, basic translation from English phrases to, to uh, mathematical expressions and from English sentences to uh, mathematical equations. Okay, uh, I have video on this. Uh, I'll try to check the video and then I'm gonna comment the, the video link here down below para mag over nyo siya bago nyo siya uh, bago nyo panoorin yung video kong to. Okay? So, I have already this uh, list of uh, what's this? Phrases that means it's multiplication, addition, subtraction, division, and equal sign. Okay? So, these are the basic, th basic things for you to solve uh, any word problems uh, in algebra. Okay? So, ayan siya. I'll begin to comment the, the link below of the video. So, uh, before watching this video, you can watch that and go over and then, you know, uh, that, that's basic, really. Okay, anyway, so let's start. I'm sorry, I'm lying on the laptop. Ko. Ayun, so, if 5 times a number is increased by 17, the result is 40. So, what is the number? Okay, so... <clears throat> I'll be going to put the uh, word problems anyway in the, uh, on top of me. Okay, uh, over me, I'm sorry. Uh, if 5 times a number, okay, 5 times, let x, we will say that let x be the first number, okay? Uh, be the number, okay? Be the number. Okay, there you go. Let x be the number. And it says there, 5 times a number. So, let 5 times of this, so that means it's 5x. 5 times of the number, okay? 5 times of a number is increased by, so when I say increase, that's plus, okay? Increased by 17, and the result is 40, so that is 40, okay? This is how you're gonna interpret word problems. Uh, yeah, try to go over the video first, the, on the link uh, I, com I, I, I put in the descriptions below this video. Anyway, so this one, transposing this, we have there 5x is equal to 40 minus 17. Okay, so 5x is equal to 23. So x is equal to uh, 23. Okay, so sorry. So divided by 5 and divided by 5. So cancel this. x is equal to 23 over 5. Okay, so this is how we do. Uh, this is now the number. We say that x is the number. Okay, so 5 times of this. Plus 17 is equal to 40. Let's check if it's true. Using this equation, so 5 times, which is our x, which is 23 over 5, plus 17, is it equal to 40? There you go. Uh, 5, uh, cancel this one, I'm sorry. Cancel this. So we have 23, because anyway, they're just result to 1. So 5 times 23 divided by 5, that's still 23. Plus 17 is equal to 40. And 40 is equal to 40. Okay, so our answer is correct. There you go. Next one. Okay, next. We have there, if 5 times a number is increased... Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> number 1. Number 2. Doubling a number, okay, and subtracting it from 35 yields the same result as subtracting 35 from half the number. Okay, what is the number? Okay, there you go. Shall we say, ah, let x be the number. Okay, so we'll just always have to use x as the number. Be the number. Let x be the number that is being uh, asked. 
and then doubling the number, okay? So doubling this one, that means we have to multiply it with 2. Doubling this number and subtracting it from 35, okay? So that means when I say subtract from, work out backwards. So this one, is subtract natin sa 35. So 35 minus 2x. Subtract doubling the number and subtracting this one from 35. The result, it says here, uh, from 35 yields the, re the same result as, ah, same result, that means equal, uh, subtracting 35 from half the number. Half of this number, okay, so this one, half of this number, so that means one half, okay? Half of that number, okay? Half of the number, subtracting 35 from half, okay? Subtracting 35 from half of this number, okay? So this is now how we interpret it. A number, doubling a number, subtracting it from 35, okay? The same, yields the same result as uh, subtracting 35 from half of the number, okay? So there we go. Next, we have to use this, uh, okay, so this one, be, transpose natin sa kabila. Uh, yung rule natin dito, pag solve tayo ng equations, lagi natin i-transpose. Sa isang side, yung walang variable, yung, yung may mga variables, i-transpose natin sa kabilang side. Sa isang side din, okay? Para masolve natin sa variable. So, andito yung walang variable. Why I'm moving 35 here? Negative 35. Kasi, para mawala natin, di natin, di na mahirap siya pag, uh, kasi if we're solving with negatives, uh, it's more confusing. Uh, I usually solve it with positives para hindi siya uh, confusing. So, transposing this one, this becomes positive kasi negative siya. So, we have 35 plus 35. Ito na yung 35 na dinala ko dito. And then, this negative 2x, transpose natin in the other side. So, that's 1 half x plus 2x. Why plus 2x? Kasi negative siya. Transposing that in the other side, that becomes positive. Okay? There you go. Now, this one is 70. And this one is, 1 half is 0.5. So, we say 0.5x plus 2x, we have 2.5x. Okay? So, divided by 2.5. And divide this one by 2.5 also because we're solving for x, right? So, cancel that. Always like that. So, kung ano yung number dito, yan yung divisor mo. I-divide. Kung ano kung ngayon dinivide mo dito, yun din yung divisor mo dito sa kabila para makuha mo yung value ng uh, unknown. Okay? So, how many 2.5s are there? So, we have 28. Okay? There you go. Because 10 divided by 2.5 is 4 times 7, that's 28. Okay? There you go. The answer is 28. Okay? Check. Let's check. So, we have here 35 minus 2x is equal to 1 half x. Okay? Minus 35. So, 35 minus, our x is 28. Okay? 2 times, 2 times 28 is equal to 1 half times 28 minus 35. Are they equal? So, there we go. 2 times 35 minus 56 because 20, 2 times 28 is 56 is equal to 1 half of 28 minus 35. Uh, 1 half of 28 is 14 minus 35. So, 35 minus 56, this one is negative 21. And 14 minus, negative, minus 35, that is also negative 21. So, there you go. Our answer is correct. Okay? So, ayan siya. Next one, number 3. Number 3 tayo. Number three tayo. One sixth of a certain number is four or more than one twelfth. The number. So find the number. Okay, there you go. One sixth. Okay. One sixth of a certain number. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lagi natin mag, uh, lagi tayo mag let ng x as let x. Ito natin gamitin. I'm sorry. Be the number. Okay, there you go. One sixth of a certain number. So let's say this is the certain number. So one sixth of that, okay, times of means multiplication. Lagi yung tandaan dyan. And then yung mga clues ko ay, tawag nito, keywords na ano, I try to go over that one. Uh, and dito yung link below sa description. So try to go over that video before uh, going over this video. Kasi mas maganda pag alam nyo yung basics bago nyo yung ano yung ano. Pero kung alam nyo yung basics, you can just go over this video. Anyway. There you go. One sixth of a certain number is four. Okay. Is means equal. Four is four. Uh, four more than. Okay. So it's plus. More than means plus. Uh, one twelfth the number. So one over twelve 
x. Okay, it says here, uh, one six of a number is four more than one twelve of a number. Okay, there you go. One twelve of a number. Of means multiplication. There you go. Okay, so since ito yung siya walang number, walang variable, ito may variable, may variable, transpose atin in the other side. This becomes multiplying this understood one here, multiplying fractions na siya. So 1 times x, that is x, and then 6 times 1 over 6. Okay, minus this one also becomes 1. Understood there is 1 here, x times 1 is x. Multiplying fractions, numerator, numerator, denominator, denominator. 1 times x, that is x over 1 times 12, that is 12, is equal to 4. Why minus? This one naging minus kasi mag-transpose. Pag nag-transpose ka sa isang, the other side ng uh, equation or the equal sign, lagi nyo i-change yung sign. Kung minus siya, maging positive. Kung uh, positive siya, magiging negative. Ganun siya, okay? There we go. Minus 4. Now, uh, mayroon ta akong tinatawag dito na clue. Uh, okay, anyway. So, this one, we cannot just uh, deduct these two fractions because they have different, uh, what's this? Different, uh, what's this denominator, okay? So, we'll just have to make these denominators the same. Ano yung, this is 12, this is 6, so may LCD siya. Okay, <clears throat> so ano yung mag-multiply natin sa 6 na para maging 12 siya? So, i-multiply natin siya ng 2, and then i-multiply din natin siya ng 2. Kung ano yung multiply niya dito para maging tulad siya dito or ka kapareha, kung ano yung multiply niya dyan, multiply niya din sa taas kasi canceling that, that's still the same number, okay? Anyway. So, this becomes 2 times x or x times 2, that's 2x over 12 minus x over 12. Okay, mayroon na sa pariho, so we can now proceed with subtraction. So, 2x, this one equals to 2x minus x over 12. Copy lang natin yung denominator kasi pariho na is equal to 4. Now, 2x minus x, that is equal to just x over 12 is equal to 4. Now, understood, there is one here. Lagi niyong tandaan, lahat ng whole numbers mayroon siyang a denominator of 1. Okay? So, after that, pag ganito siya na fraction form at saka equation siya, cross-multiply nyo lang lagi. Okay? So, this one, 1 times x, that is equal to x, and then 12 times 4, that is 48. So, our x or our the number is 48. Okay? Checking it. So, 1 6 of, 1 6 of 48, is it equal to 4 plus 1 over 12 of a number? 48. Okay, so this one, 1, 6, so 48, this one is 8. 48 times 1 is 48 divided by 6, that is 8. And then, this one, 4 plus 1, 12, or 48. 48 times 1 is 48 divided by 12, that is 4. Okay, so this one, 8 is equal to 8. So, tama yung sagot natin. Ganun siya pag ganun natin, ha? Next word problem. If 1, sorry, let x pa rin tayo be the number. Okay, let x be the number. Okay, so next num number we say, if 1 is added to the difference when 10 times is subtracted from negative 18, the result is 57. So what is the value of x? Okay, anyway, let x be the number. If 1 is added to the difference, uh, anyway, wala siya dito, wala siya. Don't uh, forget this one, forget this. Okay, anyway. Uh, if 1 is added to the difference between 10x and negative 18. So, difference ng 10x minus 18x. Okay? They're, they're difference. Oh, sorry. 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 Uh, 10x is subtracted from negative 18x. Okay. So, negative 18x subtracted from, you always have to work backward. Okay? 10x is uh, subtracted from negative 18x. So, it says here, 10 x is subtracted from negative 18x, okay? And then, 1 is added from the difference when 10x is uh, subtracted from negative 18x, the result is 57. Okay, the result or equal to 57. It says here, 1 is added when negative 10x is subtracted from negative 18x, the result is 57. So, ganun lang siya. Deducting this, negative 18 minus, uh, negative 18 minus uh, 10, that is, since the same uh, sign siya, add lang natin, that's 28x, negative, copy the sign. Um, check niyo yung uh, signed numbers. Meron ako dyan, 
uh, iyan ko rin yung 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 tawag nito link ng video ng uh, operations on signed numbers kung paano kung meron kayong problema dun sa signed numbers anyway so this one is negative 20 plus uh, 28x plus 1 is equal to 57 transposing this this becomes negative so negative 28x is equal to 57 minus 1 so, negative 28x is equal to 56. Divide by negative 28. Sinabi ko sa inyo kung may number dito sa variable, yun yung i-divide natin, i-divide din natin sa kabila. That's negative 28. Cancel this because this one is 1. Negative 28 divided by negative 28, that is just 1 or retain x. We don't write uh, the number 1 in algebra with uh, the coefficient here, which is 1. This is already understood 1. And then, negative 50, uh, 56 divided by 28, that is 2. And then, negative sign, kasi when you divide unlike signs, it's always negative. Okay? So, our x is negative 2. Okay. There we go. Let's try to see if this one is correct. So, substitute lang natin yung x natin value sa original equation. Negative 18 times negative 2 minus 10 times negative 2 plus 1 is 57. There we go. This one is negative 18 times negative 2. That Multiplying two negatives, that's positive, so that is 36. And then negative 10 times negative 2, that is positive 20. Okay, multiplying two negatives again. And then plus 1 is equal to 57. Okay, so this one, 36 plus 20 is 56 plus 1, that is 57 is equal to 57. Our answer is correct. Okay, so that's how we check if our answer is correct. <coughs> there we go. Next number. Next number, we say twice a number increased by 11 is equal to 32 less than 3 times the number. Okay, find the number. There we go. Let x be the number tayo. Okay. Twice a number increased by 11 is... Okay. Twice a number, so this is the number. Twice of that, so times 2. Increased by 11, that means plus 11 is... Is means equal. All uh, is, our was, where, like that. Yields, results, to that's equal. Uh, just watch the video anyway Okay, twice the number increased by 11 is equal to 32 less than 3 times uh, the number Okay, 3 times the number If you are going to meet this subtracted from or less than You always have to work backward And it says here 32 less than 3 times the number So backward tayo 3 times the number minus 32 Okay 3 times the number minus 32 Because it's like 32 less than 3 times the number. That's We always work backward with less than and uh, subtracted from, okay? Okay, so this is like is equal to 3 times the number. So uh, 32 less than 3 times the number. There you go. Find the number. Okay. Anyway, this is just a, a, a matter of transposition. So we say here, uh, transpose natin, transpose natin. So this becomes 2x. Positive siya. So magiging negative 3x is equal to... Uh, negative 32, copy natin siya, transpose natin si positive 11, that becomes minus 11, okay? And so this one, 2x minus 3x, negative x, or negative 1x. Kasi mas malaki si 3, minus lang natin, okay? So, copy the sign of the bigger number. Uh, just watch the video na yung sa operations na ano. I, I'll just have, have it uh, comment, uh, place on the descriptions below. Okay, so this one is negative 43. Okay, divided by negative 1. Divided by negative 1. Why negative 1? Kasi negative 1 siya dito. We're just solving that. X is equal to 43 divided by 1. That is 43. And this is positive kasi we are dividing both negatives and that is um, positive. Okay, so let's substitute this 43 to the X if it's correct. Okay, so 2 times 43 plus 11 is equal to 3 times 43. Minus 32. So, 2 times 43, that is 86, plus 11, is equal to 3 times 43, that is 129, minus 32. This one is how much? Uh, 86 plus 11, that is 97. Okay, 129 minus 32, that is also 97. So, our answer is correct. There you go. So, I'll be going to upload more of uh, videos on this. Kasi sobrang dami siyang word problems. Okay, so, hanggang dito muna. And I will have part on this, okay? So I hope this one helps you guys. So don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel. And tick that bell para sa notification ng future videos ko. And ayun, good luck and God bless everyone.